G'day viewers, Jodo Cast again. Uh, we're just on our way to our hardware store Bunnings, uh, which is like the Australian version of McMaster's, I believe. Uh, what we're going to do in this episode is we're going to actually have a look at making uh, a homemade scope cam. Uh, now, I've bought a new um, scope off uh, Wish, which is a like an online marketplace um, that do direct imports out of China and what have you. And I found a, a pretty cool looking scope on there that I got for a reasonable price. So we've got the scope with us here um, and we're going to head off down to Bunnings now and I'll show you the other bits and pieces that you need to purchase to, to build this for yourself. And um, then we'll, uh, we'll get the bits and pieces that we need, head back to the workshop and I'll show you how to assemble it and make yourself a scope cam. And then we'll um, have a bit of a play with it and uh, tune it in. I, I want to build this and fit it to my uh, worker prophecy blaster that I built uh, as it's going to be sort of a higher powered accurate type blaster. Uh, mine's got the um, long worker aluminium barrel with the uh, built-in scar barrel so it should be fairly accurate so hopefully um, it rates being able to put a uh, scope on it. Alright so uh, we're off to Bunnings now. Um, I'll uh, pick this up and we'll um, continue on once we get to the Bunnings car park. I'll show you the scope and then we'll go into Bunnings and we'll have a look and find the bits and pieces we need. So next stop, Bunnings car park. Alright so what we need uh, to start with for this scope cam is a, a phone case to suit your particular phone. It doesn't have to be anything special, this is just a cheapy one that I got off eBay um, for a couple of bucks. Essentially you want one that will actually um, hold your phone like but it's still got a little bit of flex to it but it still needs to be reasonably rigid because we've got to actually screw a pvc cap onto it um and then we've got the scope itself so that we can actually measure it up because we need to get a piece of um tubing that will fit neatly over this section of the scope um and then hose clamp down onto it and then we need a matching end cap to be able to screw onto this so that it Essentially, we're going to attach this to the end of the scope and then your camera will slot into it and whatever. But we'll show you that more in a minute. We'll, um, we'll take, the, take the scope into Bunnings and we'll go and look for the bits we need. Okay, so I've got this cover that I bought, the cheapy one. Now, I don't need all this part of it, so basically I just pulled it apart and took this piece out. This is the only bit we need, so this bit can go. Um, that's, oh, geez, make a mess. That's rubbish. So all we need is this piece here. To be able to clip the phone into and then we line up uh, our camera um, orifice uh, here with the uh, center of the cap and then that'll line up with the center of the scope etc so so we'll just take this bit and the scope into and we'll go and find the bits we need all right so we're in bunnings now essentially what we're doing is going through to the plumbing section and we're going to be looking for a, like a rubber plumbing coupler, so let's see what we can find. Oh, okay, here's the PVC parts. Oh look, it's all here. Beautiful. Okay. Okay, so this turns out to be the part we need. It's a, a rubber hose section, 40mm uh, with a hose clamp, and basically that will fit over the end of the scope snugly. So as you can see, it fits on there nicely. Gives you that little bit of an extension, so that's ideal. Now we need to, need to find an end cap that will fit into that. So let's go have a look for an end cap. So as you can see, that's a $6.60 part. Okay, so here's the other piece we're going to use. It's a 50mm end cap. So essentially, that will actually fit over the outside of the coupling. We'll put a couple of screws through the outside to screw them together and then that will slip over the edge of the scope. Alright, so these are the pieces we need. Um, so we'll grab these and we'll head back to the workshop. Okay, so those couple of parts came to $9.25 Australian, uh, plus the phone cover thing that I've got, which I think was about, oh, I think with freight and everything, I think it worked out to be about 4 to $5. So look, if we're talking about $15 all up for the parts, um, that's sort of a maximum. Alright, let's get these bits home and uh, we'll show you how to assemble them all.
All right, so we're back in the workshop and we've got the components that we need. As you can see, this is a fairly basic sort of a thing. So what we do need to do first and foremost is we need to mark the dead center of this cap and we need to drill a hole in it um, for the camera lens to shine through so or to view through. So we need to find the dead center of this. Um, we'll use a center punch to tap a little hole and then we'll drill it out, uh, drill out a little hole in the center of it. As to what size hole, I'll let you know in just a second. Hang on one sec. All right, so um, having a close inspection of the cap, there's like little consecutive circles that sort of make their way into the center. So I've marked the center there now um, and we're going to drill a 10 mil hole. It's a 10 mil drill bit. So we'll drill that hole and then we'll um, I'll come back and show you what's next. All right, so now that you've got a hole drilled in the center of the cap here, I had to adjust it slightly because the damn drill bit slid a little off center as it was drilling. Um, what we need to do is get our rubber piece here and pop one of the end caps off and that will actually go inside that piece there. So that's how that will fit. Now, before we do that though, what we need to do is fit this to the back of the cover. Uh, it needs to be, we'll glue and screw it in place with a couple of flush head screws. Um, and it needs to be put in place so that it lines up perfectly with the lens of the camera. So uh, we'll stop filming for a second so I can put the camera in and uh, into the case and work out exactly where the lens is. And then we'll, uh, we'll trace around the, the cap and um, then I'll go back to filming and show you where it's got to go. And we'll uh, glue and screw it into place. Alright, so we've got our circle marked out now. And we can line that up with that and so we'll glue and screw that into place so we'll go ahead and do that and then I'll come back and show you once that's in position okay so we've got the cap screwed into position with a couple of short stubby screws so they don't project throughout the other side now the next step we have to do is um, we take this rubber section and we put it down into there get it in nice and tight, tight and flash, flush and we have to drill some holes through the sides here uh, in all four sides uh, and put some screws through basically to screw that into place to hold it in place there. So I'll just put the uh, camera down for a second, we'll drill those holes and pop some screws in. All right, so we've got those uh, for the four screws in place so that's all screwed together. So essentially now what we have to do is place this onto our actual scope like so and then you can tighten up the hose clamp appropriately and now we just need to fit our phone into that cover which is done like put out of this cover and put it into that cover all right now need to adjust and there we go we've got our scope cam and then we can actually zoom in And the other thing that this advantage that this there we go ridicule so you can actually illuminate that. All right, so turn the street light down there. And then we can increase the magnification because that is a fair way away. So there you go. Alright. You get the idea? Yeah. 
All right. So that's how how to make a basic little scope cap. All right. So um, in the next video, we'll um, I'll uh, have this fitted up to my Prophecy Type R blaster, and we'll do some test shots and um, see how the scope camera goes. All right, um, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed that, and I hope it's been beneficial. And um, for any of you guys out there that want to muck around and make yourself a scope cam, um, yeah. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.